What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I got too many hoes. Happy New Year, by the way. So for today's video, I'm currently sitting at my desk in my college apartment. I thought I would kick off the new year with doing like a whole new year reset. So we're gonna make a new vision board, we're gonna clean, we're gonna um, hop into some new routines, the whole nine yards. But right now we are going to dive into making a vision board to start off. Last year I did a Wait, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> Last year I did a um what was the, the what was the video called? I literally forgot. So last year I did make a vision board for the year of 2023 and it's cute, but like I have new goals and new ambitions that I really want to strive for. Also, I cut my hair. This is the little wolf cut. New year, new me. Just kidding. I hate when people say that. But anyways, all right. Anyways, uh, okay. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the same um, like template that I used last time. All right. So this is the same one that I've used last time. Um, I'll put it in the description box if you guys want to use it. Um, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and go on Pinterest and start finding like little pictures and stuff um i also wrote down all of the goals that i really want to accomplish this year i have different sections so i have social financial ambitions personal goals that i have new hobbies that i want to pick up um things that i really want to buy in the new year i have some health goals and then career goals as well um so i'm gonna go ahead and go on pinterest all right so i'm gonna share some of my goals with you but not all of them because goals are very personal to me but for social i really want to start um getting into photo shoots so i really um want to do at least two photo shoots so i have this picture this is the inspiration for it nobody steal it okay so i finished um downloading all of the pinterest pictures um so we're gonna start with my social um little area i'm gonna keep the tiktok keep the subscribe account keep the insta Okay guys, so I just finished my vision board. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a second. This is what it looks like, it's super cute. Last year, I also photoshopped some pictures that way cause it's like, I, I need to see it so that way I can believe it and that way therefore it'll be mine. Okay, I'm gonna save this and finally upload it. Okay, so I just finished my vision board and this is what it looks like on my desktop. It looks super cute. I'm so excited how it turned out. I'm actually so excited about how it turned out. It looks really good. Um, it's something new, something fresh, and I just love it. Okay, so now that we did our vision board, we have our goals down. Um, the next thing to do, I think I really want to go into my new year reflection. So we're going to go into journaling. This is my journal for um, this year, this year, last year. Super cute. I got it at um, Barnes & Noble. I'm on TikTok and I'm figuring out what prompts to do, but I also kind of want to figure out what, um, what's it called? What am I saying right now? I also want to figure out questions that I can have for just myself because last year I did have a bunch of um, categories for the goals that I wanted or the different types of goals that I wanted. So I feel like I should answer each question based on the goals. Okay, so I think for each section, I'm going to go ahead and write down like three questions for each. So for each one or for each category, it's going to be what did you accomplish? I have what was enjoyable slash stressful and what can I do differently in the new year? So for my first category, I have my social. Um, for my social, I feel like I accomplished a little bit, not as much as I really wanted to. I really wanted to dive deep into um, posting a lot on YouTube and being very active on here, but school kind of got in the way of that. So was, dang. So I stopped posting as much, but then I've really been posting since I've been on break. So I hit 500 subscribers, which yay me that's half a thousand love that for me okay so i finished my reflection um i think i'm gonna go ahead and start on cleaning because even though i've planned out new goals and reflected about all of the months of the year i feel like i need to reset physically and what better way to reset than to clean your space my space at least is very valuable to me so so let me show you what my room looks like before this is what it looks like 
um it's still very straightened up but like i still have like christmas gifts over there my shoes are like dirty so i feel like i have to clean off my shoes um i'm gonna clean out my desk clean my bathroom and kind of like just the whole nine yards you know like throw away trash all of that jazz like really dust Ugh. okay so i just finished like kind of straightening up around my room um everything's clean everything's been clean so i don't really have to do too much straightening up or deep cleaning but ugh. all right so we just finished cleaning i'm standing in front of my closet right now and we're gonna do some closet clean out stuff i have these two closets and i also have my drawer right there in the new year i am going to be buying a lot of stuff and i'm trying to do a thing where it's like if i buy new clothes some things have to go and i'm just gonna go through the closet and figure out what i'm not really wearing and um get rid of it so this is my closet um there's not really much in here i'm not sure but anyways okay we have like hoodies and stuff on the top and then we have like all of my shirts and dresses and stuff um so this i feel like it's you know a nice little blue shirt i don't know i just need to just i'm gonna montage it What's up guys so it is the next day um i'm currently prepping for atlanta but that's a different video so if you guys want to see my little atlanta trip go ahead and go watch it <laughs> if it's up <laughs> anyways but for the new year i thought i would go ahead and do like my little self-care routine in the morning as like a little prep for atlanta but also for the new year i would do a little face mask and sit in the bath with you kind of like just have a little chit chat so <laughs> Besties. Okay. Period. Tell me I thought I'd do a little tub talk. So we have all of these products here on the side. I'm about to exfoliate and probably shave and probably just like talk to y'all. Frank, I can't open this. Um, so I am very excited for this little eating trip. I don't even know what to talk about, for real. Like, honestly, I'm definitely going to be playing with some new things in 2024. Like. I'm very excited. What I really want to do is like travel. This is like so weird. Like you're in the bath with me. Like I feel like this trip to Atlanta that we're taking today is like only the beginning. And I love that I'm entering the year like in another city. Anyways, it's kind of cold, but the water got cold quick. This year's the really year where I'm gonna like actually stay in my business and I'm tired of like moping and sitting around and following like I'm not doing all that. Things can be stressful sometimes, but like if I'm not gonna do it myself, nobody else will. So I'm following up with a bunch of things, especially with this school. Since I am a half Hispanic, I'm not gonna use myself. So I feel like I'm not really talking about my roots for real. But I'm half uh, Mexican. My dad had told me that my grandpa is um, Dominican from DR, so like I could claim that, but I don't really know enough about it, so it's like I really just claim my Mexican side. It's so weird, like going to places that aren't like that, because I know in California, everyone in our mama is Mexican. Like you don't catch one Mexican, one person that's not Mexican, is what I'm saying. But here, it's like being Mexican is like ancient. What thing about me, bro? I literally hate hair on my body like I feel like it is because I'm Hispanic that my hair just grows and grows my friend Azzy she literally has no hair on her body like I swear she has alopecia she doesn't grow that much hair and I'm jealous because it's like I'll shave my own hands like tomorrow this will be back and it's like terrible I just be chatting about normal random stuff that nobody cares about I'm probably really annoyed editing this but like I guess we'll see
I guess let's talk about like New Year's resolutions. Um, something that I really want to fix in the New Year is my self-discipline. That's terrible self-discipline. Like, I don't know if I said it in the last video. My self-discipline is so terrible. Like, I'm actually trying to work on it because it actually impacts my daily life. And at this point, that's why I need to like actually stay in business in the New Year because my self-discipline sucks bad see the issue is like oh yes i'm going to get like assignments and things responsibilities i should say done because i know i need to but if people are like saying oh my gosh let's hang out or this this and the third i will literally hang out with them before i do my work and i'll be like okay well i'll just do it after and then i don't do it and it's really bad and work on saying no and i feel like that's the thing with like people pleasing and stuff and like fomo if i just have self-discipline and actually work towards my goals i feel like i'd see progress a lot faster i always have to go over my knee very slow do you guys grow hair on your knee because some people don't i know and they find out that i shave my knee they're like what all shaved silky smooth i am so excited for my 25th birthday like it's a big two one normally i hate birthdays like i feel like they just always turn out very bad for me i did something for my 20th little party and i had like a birthday dinner and a birthday brunch but this year i want to do something different especially because it is my 21st it's kind of like people always do something for the 21st it's kind of big you know first actual year of being illegal i'm thinking about vegas because i feel like that's where everyone goes for their 21st and it's convenient because my parents actually live in vegas i'm gonna have something big but like big you know like not too big to the point where it's like too much but like big enough to the point where it's like i remember it so i love this soap with everything in me y'all this is from ulta and it's a shower oil from saban and it's delicate jasmine scent it smells heavy and it lathers so well you only need a little bit especially because i have a small body yeah but like i need to get more because i'm terrified of running out um, I am gonna go ahead and wash my hair and I will come back and check on you guys. Alright guys. But anyways, that was this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to thumbs up this video if you liked it. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell to make sure that you're here every time I upload. I'm very excited to what this new year is going to bring. New experiences, new friends, new new people but anyways i hope this guys inspired you to make your own vision board or to create a fresh start kind of reset i'll see you guys in my next video bye